have these things but Brielle never really used one because I never really had anything to like put in it that wasn't so messy so I actually just got like oh okay they're spilling everywhere but yeah I'm not like a fan of it it's very messy so I'm like I don't like it I don't know how babies just like don't make a mess with this thing but yeah hold on guys because I have to put you all the way back here to fit anything in the screen like so, so dumb. I'm so like tired of that. But, and your head is still cut off somehow. But yeah, I'm really grumpy. I got like no sleep. And Briella woke up like screaming this morning. Yeah. So, I'm I just. woke up to Briella in the bed. Yeah, it was like six. So I was just, I was like, I'm bringing her in the bed. I'm too tired for this. But we are on our way. If you've been following our vlogs and how badly I wanted to go to La La Land, <laughs> that's where we're going, to the new one. Um, yeah, it's a new so, one, they made like a house, they took like a house in the corner and just made it like La La Land, so. Yeah. Should we, be cool. We saw it like on TikTok last night, so we were like, you know what? We just want to keep driving in our new car, so we yeah, might exactly. as well take right. a new drive. Exactly. So that's what we're gonna do. I need to just like, get this like anger out of me. I, I, I don't know, crazy emotions, but yeah. So we are gonna go in the car now. <laughs> you ready, Brie? Ready, baby. Eat some O's in the car? Well, actually they're gonna be all over the car. Yeah. No, no, we'll leave that here. We have other snackies. Oh, I have to bring her a sippy cup. But all right, get, get one last. A little fruit bag? Okay. One, two, three. Oh. Hey guys, in the car. We are just in moods today, but I feel like La La Land will make us happy. Right? Put us in a better mood. I don't know. I think Briella must have fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, Briella sleep. Yeah. So the rest like of my sleep was interrupted by Briella. <laughs> Oh, I'm just like. Did she sleep? She slept for like a little bit, not long. Like in her bed? Yeah, like a little bit. She finally fell asleep, but you kept moving, yeah. which would wake her up. And then she Leo was also on the other side. Right, and then every time Vin moved, she'd be like, Dada. Do that. <laughs> so she doesn't really understand that like coming into our bed means like let's go to sleep. <laughs> she thinks it means like we'll cuddle yeah, like and like talk. Time, right? Yeah. Uh, but while we are in the car, I thought we would, because after the 3D sonogram, I feel like we didn't like say like kind of what she said uh, about the baby. We kind of just said like that it was so much fun and like so cute and stuff. So I thought we would say like the little things that she said, because when you do the anatomy scan, we like, they don't give you really like any information. Yeah, they just do it and then just say, all right, see ya. Yeah. We'll give it to your doctor. And then my doctor doesn't really tell me much either, except right, for like, oh, she's great. either, it's either great or we got to check on this baby, you know? So 
you really get like no information from that although like it's still fun because you get like you know you see some of the baby but that's why I like doing this because she told us that the baby is measuring like perfectly to 31 weeks which is like great to hear you know my doctor has been measuring my belly and saying that but it was nice to like hear that like literally no like she was measuring the baby and she's measuring perfectly to 31 weeks which is great um, I think she said the baby was almost four pounds already and she thinks like maybe like six to seven pounds the baby will be at like the end like six something to seven which is great that to me is like a beautiful healthy baby um and then yeah because that's what we wanted of course for Briella you know she was so small but I feel like no matter what the baby's gonna seem so small because now compared to Briella any baby is small um she said the baby has a lot of hair which I thought was so interesting because with Briella I had a lot of bad of like acid reflux and indigestion which was more towards the end so I'm, I don't have like really much of that now like a little bit nothing as intense as with her so I'm kind of like oh gosh like is it coming or am I just like looking out for some reason but we were really happy to hear that she had hair because we you know Briella was just born with hair it'd be kind of funny to have like a bald baby <laughs> now like after that um uh, she said that she said she's head down and literally it's my bladder and her head like just she's right there constantly just hitting into my bladder which makes so much sense because I could feel that like pressure on my bladder a lot especially when she's like kind of like like jumping like whatever she's doing and they're like moving up and down I just I feel like a doo -doo 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 on my bladder kind of, like I don't know how to explain it but if you've ever been pregnant you know um, so that I was really happy about because that's always kind of like scary like you really want your baby to be like head down I think 32 weeks is when you're you start to say like okay you want that baby to be head down and I'm uh, almost like in two days I'll be 32 weeks um, what else do you remember anything else that she said a little uh, I don't know what it's called oh well Cupid's bow yeah, yeah. so I have it Vin has it Briella has like the Cupid's bow it's like you know like this little indentation um the baby has it like a like a really yeah it wasn't me the car took over <laughs> um yeah she's it's like really prominent like you can see it even in like the in the pictures which is so crazy that you can see like that indentation but you really can and honestly she looks so much like Briella and yeah. Vin said it immediately it was like oh they have the same nose and I was like do they like I don't remember like in that jeez in that like sun like I don't know I just didn't remember but then I brought up I'll um, actually I'll put it here I have two um, of like because Briella was hiding so you can't like 100% tell because like and she was I guess there was more stuff covering her and everything the this belly baby was like perfectly in view but they look a lot alike like seriously to the chubby cheeks she said like oh her cheeks are so full which was crazy because that was the only part of Briella that was full was her cheeks when she yeah. was born and she has like full lips like cute little nose like the same Cupid's bow hair so I don't know it's kind of cool to think like oh like are they gonna look alike you know like it'd be so cool if they did I don't know why I just I don't know it's like it's so cool uh, so uh, anything else it was cool to like really see like her hands yeah that was really cool too like like a full like hand you know because just like Briella going like this constantly with her hands on her face it's so funny like literally so similar um and uh, I mean it's just like it's just like fun like the sonograms with the doctor you're in the doctor's office and it's like a you know the person is not really like they're kind of just doing their job not really like yeah. having fun with it which you know they have to do yeah it's like cold and I they're not like supposed right, right, to be right. like excited right you know what I mean so what are these people doing? Uh, they just get into an accident did they they might have 
Why? I don't know. Because um, yeah, they're doing construction. So dumb. The drivers here are just insane. Well, it looked like a little one, so thank God they're okay. I hate accidents. They, like, really freak me out. But, um, yeah, so, like Vin was saying, it's just, like, worth it. And because, again, we don't get sonograms and the information you get, like, psh, I wouldn't have known any of this stuff. Right, right, because that person is just having, like, fun with it. Like, there's nothing, like... Oh, I can't tell you this. I can't tell you that because that's right. from a doctor. There's none of that. She like was telling us everything. Everything right. she saw. She was like, oh, she has this. Oh, she has that. Oh, it was just cool. I right. don't know. So I think they're worth it. Yeah. It's really cool to just... At first when you mentioned it again, I was like, eh, do we really have to do that again? But no. Nah, Which I, I felt that too. It's worth it. Yeah. I felt that way too, honestly, in the beginning. I was like, do we... Like, we did this already. Like, should we? But I... I'm so happy we did it. Yeah, Honestly, I'm so happy. It was just so worth it for the whole experience and like, you know, get, get you excited <laughs> for that second baby because I, right. I'm the second born. So I feel like sometimes like I got gypped out of things because my older sister was the first born, you know? So it's like they already had a first. Right in the middle of the street. Yeah. Well, I see it. Um, oh yeah. So really bad location. Now I know what the hell that TikTok where, oh, video Oh, where? Is. You saw it? Right here. Oh gosh, but yeah, so it's important to do those for the second part. All right, here's the La La Land. Yeah, it's in a really yep. three spots, just like the video. So, oh my god, all right, let's try to park. Oh, look, a car spa. I've never seen that. Oh, oh, no, oh lordy lord. Okay, guys, all right, we're actually lucky and we got a spot. So, I guess because it's a work day, but so cute, so funny that it's like in a little house. He's just sleeping. La La Land. There's no cricket. No rain. Yeah. All right. Got the classic, cute La La Land stuff. So cute. Hey guys. I got my drink. I don't know if I filmed anything yet. Cause I'm. I was making like a TikTok too. But um. I don't want to taste this foam though. I put the straw in. So take the straw out. I didn't think about that. Oh, the straw is a heart too. Oh, yeah. So cute, guys. So oh, cute. Oh, it goes in on the branding. Yes. I like a lot, actually. Yeah. I do like that it's like different. Now we're just seeing something different, you know? For once. Oh, it's very cool. Got pumpkin the first day. Yeah. First day of pumpkin. That's really good. Hey! Oh, freak. Crazy. What's wrong? I was going to say Brielle woke up for fun, but she woke up. <laughs> Loopy. Uh, hi! There was a dog in here. We were trying to show it to her, but she's like, yeah, we said bye bye to the dog. Yeah, we did. We did. Bye bye, doggy. Yeah, we saw the doggy. Bye bye. Hey guys, we're back in the car. La La Land was so cute. Yeah, that is oh, yours. Yeah. Um, oh look, the Halal guys. They have a place here. That's the oh, New York so thing. Oh, that's so weird. Uh, couldn't really get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so so cute in there. We wish there was one like closer to us. It sucks like you have to like really drive to get there, but it's like. Vin was saying when we were in there that they just don't want there to be a lot of them. Like, you know, it's like supposed to be cool that it's there. It's like, it's like Alfred's yeah. in LA. Well, La La Land's LA too, but. Yeah. It's like Alfred's, like they want it to be like exclusive, you know? Like, ooh, you actually have an Alfred or you actually have a La La Land? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's cool. We got their first pumpkin drinks, which was cool. Today's like the first day of their pumpkin. Yeah, because I was looking at the menu and I was like, no pumpkin? But that uh, made sense. Yeah, the menu the looked day. like smaller, didn't it? Or no? Maybe. It looked more like, Good. but it was like a little more like, uh, like I knew what was going on. Yeah. I feel like in that, the first time we ever went to La La Land, I had no clue what's going on. There was a lot. Yeah, the drinks were kind of crazy. You know, but they have a lot like of this stuff is a fun there. drink. Like next time I go, I'll probably just get like a normal drink. But they you have know? good matchas too. I know like the honey, they do, but like I, honey. I can't have honey right now. 
Yeah, espresso. That blueberry matcha I got at that one place that time was so good. Remember that? The little house we went to that one time? It wasn't from there. It was from somewhere else, but Here? it was so good. No. In Texas? Yeah, it was in Texas. Remember? It was like... It, it was a cool like little house in a neighborhood turned coffee shop, remember? And like the backyard was so cool. Was that like where we went to like 80? I don't know. But yeah, that was like really good. But there was cool matchas, but I was like, oh, am I... Like, does matcha and like caramel, like would that taste good? Like, I don't really know. Would ma And then it was like matchas and like cookies and cream. I was like, I just like don't Lavender. know. Yeah. I'm like, I just like, don't know if you could have that pregnant, the lavender. Kelly loves that. Oh, really? Yeah, but. Remember I had it once and I got like nervous about it because I looked it up and I was like, ugh, I actually don't know if I could have this. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, well, it's really good. has a lot of cool drinks though. Yeah. It's just like, if you see, if it's near you, if you see one or, you know, it's just kind of like, you know, it's cool. And the vibe is like cool. It's nice yeah. and clean and all white. And I think they literally expect people to take <laughs> pictures right. and videos. It's in there. True. Like I took like, oh, I tried to like do a whole like TikTok. Yeah. So, I think they actually do. Too. And someone else came in like to do the same thing. So it was funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like a, yeah, it's just like an influencer's like place. It's just very aesthetically pleasing for like for that. So and then when you leave, they like say like, we love you. It's crazy. Yeah. Very California. Right. <laughs> Remember the first coffee shop we went in California when we were on vacation and he, they, they were really trying to talk to us and like ask us all about like our moods to the beans we would like. And we just like looked at the guy and we were like, yeah, it was we, like a, we just like really need our coffee. They, like we're not from here. Like we're from like, New York. They told us like stand up to the side <laughs> and barista will come and give you a consultation on like what kind of roast you want and stuff. And I was like, yeah. I was like, dude, I just want a cold brew. Yeah, we we're like, we need a like, coffee, like, just, immediately. This is, like, not a drill. Nuts, like, this is not, like, like, let's go. It's really funny. Um, after like we got our York. coffee, we laughed about it, but in the beginning, we were, you know. That's, like, the New York thing. Yeah. Like, step up, coffee, boom, off yeah, to the side, like, give me it. Let's go. So, it was kind of funny. Uh, but now we're just driving around Rice Village. I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, maybe find like a lunch spot just walk around it's just we're out here so let's do it right it's not horrifically hot out also that's which is a big plus is there a park around here yeah the friggin the massive one that the zoo is in uh, <laughs> we're by the zoo we yeah, drove Rice that Mill, far Rice Mill is literally oh. next to the zoo Wow, I this didn't is feel Rice like we University. Drove that far. Rice University is right here. Yeah, that's crazy. But all right, we'll see you guys when we get to where wherever we're going. <laughs> all right, got little girl. She's awake, and we're walking around. That's the place I was talking about. I don't know that we ate the other time after the 3D scan. Black walnut. It's so good. But Vin doesn't want to go there right now. Because we've been there. I know, but it actually is really good. I want to go to one of those places. I've never been to those places. All right, let's go. Let's see. And there's like an Israeli coffee house right there that we love. Yeah, we love that place. Badalina or something? Yeah, something like that. That place is great, man. Okay, we went to D'Amico's Italian Market. Sitting outside. Bree's eating some bread. Bree, one piece at a time, baby. Yeah. All right. I know you love your bread. Eat that piece first. Thank you. When you want the pizza over here? Yeah, yeah that's perfect. Right Thank you Thank so you. much. You get you anything else? Uh, no, this is perfect. Okay, Thank you. Right Thanks. Woo! We got Bree like a little pizza. Did they heat this up though? Or just like the bread is toasted. Oh yeah, that's why I didn't want mine to be hot either. Hey guys, we just finished lunch. It was a little difficult because Briella refused to eat the pizza. She does not like pizza now. So yeah, we uh, <laughs> Vin was just putting the leftovers in the car, and now we're gonna walk around, even though it's a little hot. A little hot. So well, it's, and it's like breeze. yeah, no breeze. It's kind of like stagnant. So I'm like. <laughs> 
we're kind of like hot but we're over here so we figured let's just walk around and just Rice see you know Love what they added in yeah we like it over here just more like city vibes so I love the look of this place, rice box. We yeah. gotta go one time. It does look cool. There's never like a mood or anything when we're over here. Yeah. It does look cool. Bree is just not having a good food day, so that's not great. Yep. It's that day. Okay, so we're just walking around over here. We wish they put this by us instead of whatever, Salada. But we want to go to this, well, I say we, but really just me. Well, I want to get a cool. cupcake. Cupcake ATM? Yeah. I'm down to check that out. And then Van Loon right next to it. Everyone loves Van Loon. Amazing. Let's go. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Ooh, there's a pumpkin one. <laughs> hmm. Is that it? Yeah, you got your little cupcake right there. Wow. Cupcake ATM. That is so cool. Guys. Hey. Oh, that was pretty cool. Okay. Let's try the donut that we got. I'm also doing Cupcake. It. <laughs> Cupcake. Oh my gosh. Cupcake. I want Vin to be in it. Guys, this car is actually better for filming with this. I just need to get that sticky pad. Yeah, it's a lot better. Okay, but. Okay, I wish I could like cut this off nicely, the sticker. I don't think I can. Oh, I did it sort of nice. Ooh. Can I see? It's sprinkles? Good. Yeah, it's called sprinkles. Yeah, the place. Cupcake ATM. Whoa. Pumpkin. Gotta show it on everything. It looks so good, right guys? There's a lot of stuff on top. I know. This is a big mess in this new car. Okay, we're just gonna take one bite of it. Just to try it. <laughs> it's really good. Is it? I'm not having it. You have to have a bite! Nah, I'm not. One bite? Okay. That was the whole point. No, my stomach's already messed up. How rude. We're supposed to eat it with me. I had too much sugar from that La La Land coffee already. That was my sugar intake for the day. Guys, that is so rude. You're supposed to have it with me. What I would have did a whole TikTok whole thing. by myself. You got the whole not thing with now. You. No. Ruined it. Ruined the whole thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> is that thing edible in the middle there? What is that? I'm sure. It does look like an olive. It does. <laughs> Bree, do you have AC going? Oh, wait. Okay. It is so hard when you want to film on literally, you want to make like a, like a little TikTok on it, but it actually is delicious, guys. Delish. So funny, like a little ATM. That's cool. Ben was like, duh, I don't want to talk to a person. Like, so easy. <laughs> right, that's how they get you. Yeah. But. So good. Delish. 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 Okay, I'm sorry. We are in the car now. We are sweating profusely. Literally. Dying. Briella has her AC on her. All good. And we are gonna head home now because we just literally did like a lap and it is too hot for a lap. How hot is it out? Doesn't it say it's, uh, it's it'll say it somewhere, but it's just like dead heat. There's no breeze like whatsoever. So yeah. Horrible. But this was a nice little like day out to get us just kind of out of the house and out of our little funk. So this was really nice out of our little funky and now we're on our way home. Hey guys, it is 
A new day. I'm sorry. Totally fell off the vlog the other night. Um, uh, after like, you know, that whole day, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what happened, you know. I'm 32 weeks today, so just bear with me, guys. I am trying. I really am, I like promise. Um, so, I'm currently in Briella's room. Currently in Briella's room. And I am going through. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I am going through, I know it's like very messy in here, but I am going through as Briella takes everything out of the bin. Briella's newborn, uh, newborn and preemie stuff, um, which is turning into a real mess in here. Everything kind of was organized, but you know, it's very hard to do this with Briella. Oh, and um, I'm gonna put her down for a nap actually now, uh, cause she's like a little off schedule. So I'm literally gonna pack this all up out of her room. Like guys, look at what I'm sitting in. <laughs> You wanted to put him in there? Aw, so nice. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna pack this actually up and I'm gonna do this in the living room because this is just too much to do with her awake. And I need to put it in, you know, like piles and stuff and it's just a little too hard. So I'm gonna do that now. And then I guess when she wakes back up, it's so hard because I need like her room obviously to do the draws. I'm gonna split up uh, the draws. So Briella's stuff is gonna be in like these. And this one will be diapers for like the both of them. And then these will be new babies. Uh, they're gonna be sharing a room. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, but, and I'm obviously gonna wash everything too. I'm not even gonna like organize these draws yet. Obviously I wanna wash everything. And, but I'm gonna do, I think like newborn up here. I have a lot of preemie clothes because Briella was preemie, but I'm gonna keep those like away because this, since this baby's measuring on time, I don't think that she'll fit into them, but obviously like good to have, you never know. And I do have like so many diapers. Guys, look at this. This is a preemie diaper. Her tushy fit in this. Your tushy fit in there. <laughs> And then like these are like newborn. Look at the difference between this Millie Moon ginormous newborn to Pampers. Like, oh, that's a preemie actually. I mean, this one's newborn, but still. Ooh. Oh, careful baby. I have my phone on. I was of course making a TikTok, but yeah, this is newborn. Still, like that's a huge difference. That's like kind of crazy. Wild. I don't know. But okay, yes. Let me put these all just like in a drawer right now and then put her down for a nap. And then, no baby. We're not gonna put our farm people in here. Farm people go in, in here. Thank you, farm people go in there. In here. Yeah, in there. Oh. Yeah, this is just like too messy. In case anyone wanted to see 32 week bump date that's where I'm at feeling large and in charge but I just put Briella down I am like so friggin tired just so tired I think that's just like all I can say the 30s of pregnancy is like just tired but if you guys saw I did hang the TV finally I did it myself I didn't hire anyone um I was definitely scared that I was gonna hit the water line of the sprinkler up there, but I didn't, and thank goodness, and the TV is hung. And I did order the pictures for here. <laughs> I'm tired of looking at that. I literally tried, as you can see, like one of the squares is like, I took it out because I tried to like switch it, tried to switch it, um, around because I didn't want to look at that anymore and there's still like stupid words on the back of it to like help you hang it or something which I didn't even know probably would have been helpful when I was hanging them <sighs> out of breath as always um yeah but I did order the pictures so they are coming so that'll be covered 
But like I said, I need to go through, oh, okay, I can't drag it. But yeah, I need to go through this bin of preemie and newborn clothes. And I'll do the zero to like three month next one at a time one at a time um but as i was going through this a little bit before i was realizing that i i mean i already like knew this but you know briella and then the new baby are born at different seasons so i have a lot of like spring summer clothes for brie whereas the new baby needs more like fall ish clothes to like a little bit of like winter but you know there's really like no winter winter here in texas so yeah Oof, i'm like i can't believe how out of breath i am right now <laughs> i'm so tired but i'm gonna put these all in like just piles i'm gonna do piles that's what i'm gonna do right now and try to do this like fast and yeah i'm all over the place guys like bear with me, please. And this is so emotional so emotional like Briella when she was born I feel like I reiterate myself so much on here but if you guys follow and have been watching then you know Briella was small she was born five pounds nine ounces so she only fit into preemie every single thing I brought to the hospital all the outfits nothing fit her so she had to just wear that little hospital like one like that white like hospital shirt and Vin had to go to Carter's to get outfits for her because nothing fit and Carter's only had two preemie things in all of Carter's and literally like look let me see I just went through it so this was this was Briella's first outfit, like PJs, like this is her first thing that she was ever in, like ever, ever, that we bought for her. <sighs> just like so crazy. I will literally probably like just obviously save this forever because this was like the first thing. And I was like so proud of it when we put it on her because it was like, you know, we bought it for her and it's so funny. I had a pile of outfits at the hospital that didn't fit her. And I was proud of this. I was like, that's who my baby fits in. Like, it was so cute seeing her in like real clothes finally. And then her coming home outfit, again, this was the only thing that Carter's had. And the only thing we can get in time was this little outfit. Like, look at this little shirt with these little pants. Like, are you kidding me? Oh, and the hat has to be somewhere in here too. Like, I will forever save these. Save these. Like, these are so freaking special. So special. It's so funny that this was like her coming home outfit. You should, I have her actual coming home outfit somewhere. Maybe her little sister will wear it. But she, um, like, gorgeous, knitted, beautiful outfit. Like, and then so many cute like matching outfits to me in the hospital, like everything and no. But I wouldn't have had it any other way because she was perfect, so perfect. But I just had to share that with you guys because uh, I'm trying like not to be so emotional right now, but it's obviously like so hard. <sighs> My little baby, 
I'll put pictures here of Briella in her outfits. My baby girl. She was so precious. Oh, so yeah. Just going through that right now and trying not to be emotional. Still drinking my morning coffee. I've heated this up uh, three times. I don't usually have morning coffee, like literally ever, but we just got espresso pods again and I was just feeling it. But it is one o'clock in the afternoon now. So that's any indication of our day. Oh, well, I mean, our day is fine. It's just like the sleep situation because I don't sleep. But Briella slept fine, but Vin is working. He has, um, he's doing a double today. He's doing overtime. so. He woke Briella up when he got up at like six. So it's like the third day in a row she's been up at six o'clock in the morning, which obviously isn't like the worst, but that extra hour is just everything. So, you know, that's where we're at. And then I do have a lot of, um, my mom saved every like little thing. And she was like that bougie mom that like everything had to match. Me and my older sister, we're only 14 months apart. We had to match everything. Um, so a lot of like these, like I have so many outfits um, that are like so beautiful, like with this and like the hat to match and then like the leggings to match. You see like the little flowers like on everything. Um, I have like outfits. It's outfits that have like outfits like this whole onesie outfit and then like a blanket to match. Like my mom, she saves so many things. And honestly, Briella didn't really get to wear a lot of it because she was so small for so long. My God, look at this little, and Briella, if you guys know, like butterflies is my like thing for Briella. And she didn't really get to wear this and then the blanket to go with it because she was, she was so tiny for so long. And by the time, like this, this would fit her now, actually. Honestly, look at the shirt. This would fit her right now. She, she's a tiny little issue. Well, she looks bigger on camera. Like my whole, every, every time my family sees pictures of her, they're like, oh, Briella's, like she looks like she's bigger. But then when I, we bring her home and they see her in person, they're like, oh my God, no, she's like so small. So yeah. And I even have like bathing suits from when I was little. Like, look at that. I have this one and I have another one. Where'd that go? And this one, it's like so funny. It's like fuzzy. <laughs> it kind of looks like a candy corn, but these are from when I was little. Uh, so I was really small too. So yeah. And then even like this, it's like still wrapped that I didn't even get to use for real. Like literally it's just, I mean, I'm not even showing you guys everything. Like piles of um, clothes from my mom for from when we were younger. So yeah, just still going through all of that and uh, trying to make headway. But I'm like, keep getting nostalgic and going through everything, like getting emotional over every little outfit. Like, oh my God, she wore this then. And, oh my God, she wore this. Like, I just can't. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard for a mom.